Welcome to the video, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to take a look at base building so far in Daisy 0.63, stress test update number 55. Some things have changed since our last look at base building in Daisy. Of course, I will cover them here and show you guys how it's done. First off, there are a couple of tools you're going to need now a shovel, an axe, a hacksaw, and hammer. Also, believe it or not, you can actually repair the axe with duct tape. I tried the stone sharpening method and it doesn't seem to work at the moment. But with a full roll of duct tape, you can get about four repairs as of the making of this video on the axe. Of course, this may be subject to change in the future, as is with anything in Daisy, as it is work in progress. With that being said, planks and logs have changed slightly since our last look at base building. Planks now do not come from trees. Instead, you get logs from trees, and planks you get from piles of planks located in certain areas of the map. We found ours in the docks at Svetlo. To get some planks from these piles of planks, you will need either an axe or a hacksaw, look at the center of the pile, to cut off some planks. You get three each time you do this, and you can stack quite a few and only carry them in your hands. Of course, I guess if you had a V3S, you'd be able to load the V3S up and drive it to your location of your base for a quicker way of gathering all those planks and logs. A little bit of input on the base building from me regarding planks and logs. You should be able to cut down a log from a tree, then craft planks with a hacksaw from the logs. You'd be able to do this closer to your base and not have to run, well, walk, because when you're carrying a plank, you're extremely slow and open to attack. But would, of course, be a lot slower than if you loaded a V3S from the piles of planks around the map and transported them to your base that way. So, of course, we decided to test the new improved base building right next to where the planks were in Svetlo. We had a few viewers from stream join us and bring supplies like nails and more axes because we didn't realize you could repair them at the time. And I really appreciate you guys. You know who you are for the help you supplied. We wouldn't have done it without you. A quick little update for you. During the editing of this video, we did get a reply from lead designer Peter Nespesny, who said, I'm happy that you like base building. Still needs a lot of love. Lumber mills are planned for sawing planks from logs, so you will need a V3S to gather there and then back to your base location. But we will see. All depends on balance, which wasn't done yet. And then my boy Peter Mortensen replied with, maybe make it so you need a chainsaw for planks in the wild. Lots of noise to balance the convenience factor. Just an idea I had the other day. I completely forgot about chainsaws, so nice one, dude. And then Trace follows up with, and then maybe less planks per log that way, compared to using the lumber mill, including gas usage for the chainsaw, degrading of tools, and less yield that way should be possible to balance reasonably. So yeah, we're getting all the good information for you guys. Anything else, please leave it in the comments below. Once you've collected all the supplies you need to build your base, you then need to craft a kit, either a fence kit or a watchtower kit. This is slightly different now, as before you walked up to a tree and scroll wheeled to create kit. Now you need a rope and two short sticks to craft a fence kit, and a rope and four short sticks to craft a watchtower kit. As an example, in today's video, we will be using the fence kit to teach you how to start building your base. Once you have the kit in your hands, left click once to open up the skeleton placement system, then click and hold the left mouse button on your desired location for your kit. You will then see your two sticks stuck in the ground connected by your rope. You can then place in the rest of the materials to start building your base, starting with two logs. Once your two logs are placed inside the fence kit, you will then need your shovel that we mentioned earlier. This only works from one side of the fence kit. Once you've found the correct side, look down at the center of the fence kit with the two locks inside, and you should have the option to build base. Press and hold left click, and you'll see the circle fill up. Once done, the logs will be dug into the ground and pointing into the air. Once you've done that part, you will then need your hammer, nails, and planks. You will need about 20 planks and 20 nails per wall to be complete. There are four sections to build, the upper and lower frame and the upper and lower actual fence panel, either from wood or metal sheeting, each section using five of each material a piece. Once all your materials are inside the inventory of the fence, you will need your small hammer in hand. Look at the bottom center of the fence and what you should see is the option to change what part of the fence you want to build with a left click or build the selected part by holding left click. You will see a nice hammering animation, minus the sound of course, which hopefully will come in later. A nice hammer on nail sound effect will seal the deal for base building. If you have even more materials available, you will also see the option to build a platform as well as left and right stairs for the platform. As of the time of this video, base building parts are only persistent on completion of construction of that base part. Once you have completed it though, if you find some camo netting, you can place that in the inventory space for camo and have that nice camo hanging from your fence or your watchtower. And as for the watchtower, it is similar in concept to the fence kit to build. You just need a lot more of those materials. Epic time lapse.
Look at that. Of course, this is on the stress test branch and therefore very much work in progress. Once we placed the watchtower, we went to get some planks come back and it had shifted 10 feet and was floating in the air. So of course, these need fixing before it goes to experimental or stable. But other than that, we didn't really have any major issues. We also managed to craft a gate. For a gate, you do need the metal wiring and you can open and close the gate from the inside right hand log. The combination lock sadly wasn't in game as of the recording of this video, so we couldn't test that out for you and keep our base nice and safe. Not long after we built the base, we were attacked. Somebody placed a mine, we all got blown up, and then we had snipers on the hilltop. I was streaming, so probably stream snipers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say stream snipers, because I wouldn't have died otherwise. Do we know about a player on hospital roof? Squatting around? No, hang on. Oh yeah, I see him. Shot, dude. Shot. Got him. We also got generators working with a spark plug, wired them up with the cable reel to lights and Christmas lights on our tents, as you can see here put up some mesh boxes and filled them with mud. Of course, keep in mind, this was just for test purposes. We would obviously build our own bases safer somewhere inland, not right on the coast next to Freshborns, and hopefully be able to complete the base and make something much larger, safer, with a lot of storage. As for storage, you could place the sea chest up in the watchtower. So if you were up there watching, you could have some extra ammo in the sea chest to keep reloading your gun if you needed to. If you were a sniper, that would be your perfect little sniper's nest full of food and so on. We also managed to craft this huge camo tent thing with just a long stick and the camo netting. Uh, obviously, it's not finished, but this, this thing is crazy and will be a great addition to many bases around Chernerus. As for the destruction of bases, you can use a sledgehammer or an axe to tear down bases if you want to raid them. I will have a video up coming soon. We didn't actually destroy a base, but we did find somebody building a base on the west side of the map near the big lumber mill, and we had a bit of a gunfight around their base because they killed Cuddles. You don't kill Cuddles on my watch. <laughs> As for base building though, I actually really liked it. I think they've done a great job so far. Of course, it needs tweaking here and there, planks from logs, as I mentioned earlier with the hacksaw, and fixing the displacement or desync bug where it's moved position, where you've placed the kit, and we should be good. We should be good. I did notice a little bit of desync at some point, but after a few restarts, it kind of leveled itself out, and uh, the bases were persistent. There, we had, a, we had loads of items there, and my FPS didn't really change. And we were at Svetlo, which of course has always been known for not the best FPS of a town. Um, I was rocking no less than 60 FPS at the worst of times. It was usually 80 to 100 plus FPS. So when you are building your bases in the middle of nowhere, you should have no FPS issues whatsoever. Hell, even if you want to fortify something in a big town, you should be fine. Just like this awesome example from Haunted Ashes who built his base on the rooftops in town. Oh my God. Imagine trying to raid that, seal off the doors, fortify everything. You've got watchtowers on the roof. You're going to have to try and counter snipe it and then push it and destroy it and hope nobody else was inside. Crazy times ahead, guys. Let me know what you think of base building. Thank you for watching the video. Hit that like if you enjoyed the content I create. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you peeps next time.
Oh, more nails. Ooh. Thank you very much, kind sir. 